Hello, and thank you for joining us for the SQL Server 2012 virtual launch event. I'm very excited to be launching this new version of SQL Server. We have great momentum on the SQL Server product going into this launch. SQL is the number one widely deployed database product on the planet and a leader in the key analyst reports across the workloads that SQL Server supports, including BI, data warehousing, and OLTP. The 2012 product is being very quickly adopted by our customers. Over the last few months alone, we've had over 150,000 downloads of the release candidate that customers are now providing us great feedback on. The industry is also starting to recognize the value that we're bringing to the market in the 2012 product. Forrester has released their TEI, the Total Economic Impact Study, that shows over the course of the year a nearly 200% ROI on upgrading. We have many, many customers now across the globe and across the different workloads that are supporting in production the SQL Server 2012 product and getting a lot of value out of it. For example, Home Shopping Network, a multi-billion dollar interactive multi-channel retailer, the popular TV channels and an e-commerce site, has a requirement for zero downtime maintenance for their mission critical applications that include a customer forum, business to business parts of your application, and network management tools. With Always On, they've been, able, they've been able to reduce their failover time from over 40 seconds down to under three seconds just by upgrading the product. And they really believe they're on the right technology base to support their major business initiatives over the next several years. Havis Media, which is a division of Havis based in Paris, France, is a global leader in advertising communications deployed in over 100 countries around the world. They have a need to increase their agility and responsiveness for client BI in tools and, and reports they offer their customers. After valuing more than 20 different BI vendors, including Oracle, they've selected SQL Server 2012 for their BI initiative. By implementing their solution, their insight analysis reports for their clients, they've been able to cut down the cost of customizing these reports by 80%. This allows them to move from a reactive to a proactive approach for their clients. They've also been able to inf eliminate information silos. And they believe this is a, actually a first for them in, an, in this industry, where they have a holistic view of their entire operating divisions across their landscape and their business. They believe they can generate more revenue in addition to providing its customers with much higher quality business insights into the work that they're doing with Havis. A product like SQL Server 2012 has literally hundreds of features in it. And customers are going to find value across their different workloads and across the different applications that use a SQL Server product. Everything from small improvements like CDC support for SSIS to the large, more groundbreaking improvements like PowerView or Always On, there's something in this product for everybody. We tend to talk about the product, though, in these major areas of value focus that we have in mission critical confidence, breakthrough insight, and cloud in your terms. Mission critical confidence, of course, is about providing that underlying substrate, which is highly available, performant, and highly secure for all your data, while also addressing the need for ever expanding data as data explodes in this trend in the industry of large and larger data sets, but providing a way to manage that at a low TCO. Breakthrough Insight is about closing that gap and providing that last mile of BI so that the information that people in the company need to get their jobs done have that access to that information at their fingertips with great intuitive tools. The other side of this, of course, is providing IT the control and capabilities to provide for the right kind of security, data sharing, and governance over data. Cloud in Your Terms is about creating business solutions fast that leverage the cloud, but on the pace that our customers want to adopt it. So let's talk about mission critical confidence in more detail. Mission critical confidence starts with the required nines and data protection, the underlying substrate that ensures the data is always there and always working. We did work in SSIS to make it into a server, so you have an HA solution and, and professional management for SQL Server integration services. And we've also added HA capabilities for Stream Insight, for those real-time data scenarios using Stream Insight, providing a, an HA solution right out of the box. The major effort here, of course, was SQL Server Always On. For the relational database, 
This is a fundamentally new set of technologies that provide great agility and high availability in, in GODR solutions for our customers. Local, regional, and GOHA with readable secondaries and multiple secondaries provide better utilization of your systems and better agility in meeting other kinds of needs like backup and reporting and other kinds of operational analytics. That foundation, of course, has to work incredibly fast with blazing fast performance. We've done enhancements in a very customer and workload and application-focused way, working with our customers and our ISVs to enhance the product across the database, analysis services, integration services, to meet real scenarios for performance and move the bar forward in this release substantially. X-Velocity introduces a new set of in-memory technologies that we first started working on in SQL Server 2008 R2 in Office 2010, as we brought the ability to manipulate millions of records in Excel with PowerPivot. We've taken some of those technologies and brought them into our database and analysis services engines to provide that blazingly fast performance across very, very large scale data sets. All that data working incredibly quickly, you also need the right kinds of compliance and security. And here in the compliance world, Auditing and the right kinds of separation of duties are super important. On the auditing front, we've expanded what's being audited and provided capabilities in our tools to allow you to define what's being audited and then more quickly filter and find the things you're looking for through enhanced experiences with our auditing framework. And we've also provided user-defined server roles to help be more agile about how different duties for administering these systems are separated. All this wraps up into a system which is highly available, highly performant, and has the right security and compliance. But you also need that operational peace of mind. This begins with the right integration with the management infrastructure. And with SQL Server 2012, we're introducing a management pack at the time we launch that integrates with System Center to provide the very best data center manageability for the SQL product. Operations also means ensuring that your, that your production environment as you evolve your applications, is able to meet the needs of your customers. We've developed a distributed replay technology that allows you to simulate and replicate your production workloads in your test environments to ensure that any application changes you make are able to withstand the realities of your production environment. And finally, the peace of mind is about ensuring that Microsoft is behind you as well. And when not supporting your, your breadth deployments of of the SQL Server product, all the way up to your most mission critical, Microsoft and support offerings are there to stand behind you. The next area of major value focus for SQL Server 2012 is around breakthrough insight. And this starts, of course, with our end user tools and the agility and flexibility that those tools provide. Following on the Power Pivot release in R2 in Office 2010, we've, of course, made enhancements to the SQL 2012 release in that area. But the groundbreaking new work here is really in PowerView, where PowerView is a new experience that allows you to go and understand and gain and discover insights and then communicate those insights with other people through integration with PowerPoint and an immersive experience for understanding and manipulating data at large scales. IT has to support these systems, and our managed self-service BI efforts are key foundation to that. SharePoint administration, the ability to import as well, power pivot work into that IT environment and have IT really manage the distribution and, and sharing and scaling of these, of these data sets is foundation to how IT provides a control, but balances that with the end user responsiveness you get out of self-service. Self-service example is reporting alerts, where users are able to stand up alerts for changes in parameters and data that they're looking at in their reports without invoking the need to have someone in IT with their operations or in development to be able to create that alert. All that BI work has to be built, though, on credible and consistent data. This starts with the heart of our BI semantic model, which allows users to manipulate data and form a semantic model that understands the relationships between parts of data and also provides a development environment for developers to annotate and further that that semantic depth of understanding of information. Data quality services is a new capability in SQL Server 2012 that allows for, for enterprises to manage the ingress of data and ensure that the, that the data has integrity 
as it's being brought in. You can use DQS to compare against data from other sources, including from SQL Azure Marketplace, where you may have reference data, or reference data you may have the enterprise that might be managed by master data services. In the 2012 release, we're launching another version of master data services that completes the end-to-end -end experience, including an Excel experience, to let the experts in the data really have an experience in terms of curating and managing some of these master data systems. All of these BI capabilities have to run on incredible scale, and the foundation underneath our BI systems has to scale incredibly well. On the relational side, we've had parallel data warehouse and our data warehousing systems and scalability and performance. And we're also, in the fall, we introduced that we'll be supporting Hadoop on Windows and in Azure, and then Hadoop connectors that allow you to connect data in Hadoop systems, in and out of the relational, and up and down into BI. The third area of value we talk about in SQL 2012 is cloud on your terms. This, of course, begins with the cloud promise of scale on demand. We have a customer who will spin up hundreds of database instances in SQL Azure over the course of a few hours and then spin them back down because they have a business process that requires that level of parallel scale. That's elasticity, and that elasticity provides an ability to get faster time to market even. You can develop and consider applications that are going to run at a scale and get started on those applications very quickly without incurring the cost of planning and designing and building out very large systems. Whether it's on-prem with private cloud or in the public cloud with SQL Azure, that kind of time to market capability is an offering that the Cloud Design Point provides for you. We're going to offer, as part of the 2012 wave of products, appliances that bring together the hardware, software, and support into a single package to provide that private cloud capability. The cloud also is about productivity. That elasticity, the time to market, also leads to productivity where you can develop applications very quickly. There's an operational piece to this as well, which allows you to integrate hybrid scenarios between what's on-premise and off-premise so that your on-prem systems can be very much dedicated to the critical workloads you need. SQL Server 2012 and SQL Server Management Studio allows you to even take backups directly from the product into Azure as an example of that operational productivity. The other side of productivity is for the developers. In 2012, we're introducing a new set of data tools for the SQL Server developer. These, of course, are built on Visual Studio, but offer a modern experience integrated between the database and BI that provide all the capabilities you'd expect in a modern development experience in developer tool set for the database and for our BI offerings. That developer agility and productivity also has to be met by the needs of the kinds of data they're working with. In SQL Server 2012, we continue to move forward the beyond relational work, rounding out our spatial work across the product, and the database offering new capabilities. Semantic search is one of those capabilities where we're going beyond what full text search is capable of, provide real semantic understanding of relationships between data sets to provide new capabilities for applications. File table is a capability we're offering to allow you to get direct Win32 access to files that are stored within the database and file streams. And this completes our journey on the integrated storage mission. That developer agility is also about ensuring that the development of the database can happen in the cloud and on-prem and across the different kinds of application frameworks that are being used. So we continue to move forward things like our PHP drivers and our Java integration, our Hadoop integration, to ensure that the database is used in whatever development scenario that you have. SQL Server 2012 is a product that offers something for all of our users. As we've been developing and engaging our community, We've been hearing back a lot of feedback about the kinds of things they need, and we've been meeting those needs with hundreds of features throughout the product, ranging from the very small things to the very large things that make the difference in the day-to-day -day use of the product for the people really using it, as well as for the major areas of business value to be able to really help businesses move forward. I want to thank you for your time, not just today, but over the years in, in working with us to help develop a great SQL Server product release. I also want to thank our partners for their investment in Microsoft and in SQL Server 2012. 
These investments, of course, help you, our customers, get the best out of the Microsoft Data Platform. I encourage you to explore the wealth of all the materials. We have great demos, technical sessions, product content, all that are part of this virtual launch event that you can now go explore on the website. I recommend in particular a couple of my favorite sessions. David Campbell, our technical fellow, is doing a session on big data. And Forrester's TEI session is also available now for that in-depth view of their ROI work in upgrading SQL Server 2012. Thank you very much. <laughs>